Hi guys, it's Jordan. This is actually my fourth time now filming this video because my dog keeps stepping on my laptop and deleting it while I'm filming. So, um, one other thing. Also, my laptop is currently having issues with the audio component, so I can't hear anything. So I'm not sure if the microphone is also working and you guys can even hear me. But when I play this back, there's no sound. Um, so... For this week's questions, there was three. The first question was, what was something you learned from this week's material? One thing that I learned that I found pretty useful was the information in the methods PowerPoint. I'm currently in Psych 211, and if you don't know what that is, it's uh, Stats and Experimental Design, and we're actually writing a paper that is a review of other experiments about impulsivity, and I found the information that was given in the methods PowerPoint pretty useful because I do have to do a review and design my own experiment using what was given from these other articles. So I found that pretty useful. Um, the second question was something I found muddy in my own research process. And for me, it's somewhat difficult to read through all these articles because a lot of it provides the same information so it's hard to find new information that I can incorporate into my subtopic and make my um, information more extensive than instead of just focusing on one aspect because right now I'm doing the Chernobyl nuclear disaster and my subtopic is um, mental health effects. So a lot of it is providing the same information over and over again instead of giving me new th things about the mental health that I can work on from that. And for the last question, one piece of advice I would give my classmates to work on getting a good grade on the paper or presentation would be to really stay organized. That's something that people think they have down, but there's a difference between knowing your stuff and staying organized with it. And I feel like I'm not always the most organized, but for important things, I do like to create an outline and just keep this organized with my sources so I know what information I'm pulling from where. This is especially important when you're doing something such as a presentation in addition to a paper. Um, it really helps you know where you're pulling information from, from the PowerPoint, whether it be the paper. And when you stay organized with your sources, in addition to this, it really helps at the end when you create your resources list and you go back or even while you're writing and you cite your sources in text, you can really stay organized by having all of your sources together and knowing where each one, where the information comes from each one. So I find that really helpful, especially for something like this, because we are doing a paper and a presentation. So that's this week's submission. Thanks for watching.